of course, what we saw in the previous file was how I've demonstrated we can add an extra style sheet in order to manage the colors of different parts of our text. To save this, I have to press publish, otherwise the changes are undone. And we go back to the custom section. And really, a lot of the changes that we want to do, the refinements we want to make on our design, are in this section. I can see the website's running a bit slow at the moment. So while that's catching up, it's worth going and looking at the choice of fonts. Now, there are lots of fonts available for free. In fact, there are, I think, about 900, 987 Google fonts that you can use. And you can lose a lot of time actually choosing these. I'm just going to demonstrate the use of one of them. Um, let's pick one that will stand out so it will be more obvious when I show the change. I think uh, Amazonia might be uh, Arizona. If I look down where that is, let's see, Arizona. There we are, we've got a nice font there. So I'm going to see if I can change the headings to being Arizona. Now, managing that is easiest achieved by actually adding a plugin. And go down to plugins. I'm going to add a new plugin and I'm just going to search for fonts. And there's a number of choices that come up. It's important to look at the number of installations and also don't be afraid to have a go at some of them and reject them and try other ones. So in this particular case, I already tried that one. This is for using online Google fonts, offline, sorry. And this one is the easier one. So I'm going to start with this one. So I install the plugin and I activate it. That makes it active on my website. And I can see in the plugins area that I've activated that. Now, when I go back to customizing my appearance, we can see that it should actually appear in this main customizing menu on the left hand side. And there it is. So I'm just going to look at the basic settings, um, font family, font family, the headings. So let's change the headings. And I'm going to type in that Arizona. I'm choosing that because it's distinctive. And we can see that all of the headings have changed and some of the quotes. The body text has stayed the same. And if we look at some of the posts, We can see that the text has remained in the default font. So I'll change that base typography to something like uh, Robotica. Maybe it's robot uh, Roboto. There we go. And nothing has changed at the moment. I'll scroll down. I'll change that to maybe Arial. Still not changing. I might need to look at that again to identify what the paragraph text is. And I'll publish that to save the changes.